Hello there, Florida and Southeast gang. If you've been on social media lately, odds are you've seen posts like this, talking about a potential hurricane two weeks out. Anyone who lives in Florida or the Southeast knows the devastation hurricanes can cause and the human toll that goes with that. If you see a post like that showing a scary model run, you're probably getting rather concerned right now. Please don't worry. I'll tell you when you need to worry. You see, at this very moment, dozens if not hundreds of Facebook and Twitter accounts are putting out scary hurricane season information they know that you will click on. But anybody on Twitter can make money off their posts, so there's an incentive to post scary things that accounts know you will click on. The same is true on Facebook. Engagement farming is what it's called. They want you to click, so they spice things up to get your attention. Bad actors are preying on your fears and betraying your trust to make money. And what better time to make money than during hurricane season? After all, fear mongering is profitable. Now, I'll be candid. There is a tropical wave that we have to watch. But it's 3,700 miles away in Senegal and Guinea. It's nowhere near us. Why the hell are we showing models two weeks out depicting something hitting the United States when there isn't even a system that's formed yet? Oh wait clicks, and cash. Now let's throw in some transparency. The American GFS model is showing this system beginning to trek westwards and then very quickly being torn apart by disruptive changing winds with height. We call that wind shear, and it never makes it across the ocean. It is shredded. The European model shows the same exact thing, disruptive changing winds. And in fact, the Euro doesn't even have this thing reaching the Lesser Antilles, never mind the lower 48. And if somehow the nascent system can survive wind shear, it may also be choked by dust from the Sahara Desert. Now look, we do have one AI model, artificial intelligence with the European model, that is showing some cause for concern in about 12 to 14 days, depicting something potentially threatening parts of the United States. But nobody's crystal ball goes that far. This is nearly two weeks out. And scientifically, science says we cannot forecast deterministic or specific outcomes that far in advance. But that's not going to stop people from putting out baseless forecasts or cherry picking ridiculous model runs. Posting every scary looking model run and saying, look at this model, is not science. It takes no skill whatsoever. Just like windshield wiping back and forth. One minute a model shows one thing, so you say that. The next minute the model changes, you say the other thing. That requires no skill. It doesn't even require scientific interpretation. It's just vomiting models. Now this problem is not isolated only to a few bad actors online. In fact, there are even some major corporations trying to engage you with their scientific bull****. Like one very major weather company that is claiming to know exactly what the high and low temperature will be here in Washington, D.C. on September 10th. And yes, that's right, a major U.S. weather vendor is peddling 90-day specific or deterministic forecasts, which is basically like how CVS puts out the Christmas decoration before Halloween. It's not Christmas yet. Don't do it. Now, the American Meteorological Society has a stance on that. They write, quote, Presently, forecasts of daily or specific weather conditions do not exhibit useful skill beyond eight days. So in the case of the tropics right now, I don't care if you're getting your weather information from Mega Weather Incorporated or BobsBasementBlog.com. Nobody knows yet. Sometimes the responsible thing for me as a meteorologist is to say, I don't know yet. Scientists admit when they're wrong or when they don't have enough information to make a call. That's how science works. For now, we are waiting and we are watching. And until we have more information on how this system potentially evolves over the eastern tropical Atlantic, we won't know anything. This hurricane season, make sure you're getting valuable information from trusted sources, not falling for clicks and online scams. On my radar, senior meteorologist Matthew Capucci, and I promise I will never, ever BS you. Follow my radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download my radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, and Windows.